What up, LK Mafia? It's your boy Artie Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. All right, y'all. So today we got got a Patreon viewer submission, bro. My dude Gabe sent me this, and he said I should check it out. And it's from Second Chance, and it's called Nightmare. So we're about to see what's up with this man. I f with Second Chance. I think he's a very talented brother. Definitely curious to hear what he has to say on this track. I haven't heard enough music from him, but that's about to change right now. But yeah, man, so Gabe sent me this on Patreon. If y'all didn't know, man, I got a Patreon. It's always linked in the description box below. Y'all can join us over there. I'm actually about to do a giveaway over there soon. Where, where is it? Some AOK -okay Mafia custom slides, man. I'm about to do a giveaway. I'm going to do one giveaway of these on this channel, and then I'm going to do two giveaways over on Patreon for these guys right here. And I like them, bro. You see that thing, bro? A-OK -okay, Mafia, cuz. This is actually not the finished product. This is just the rough draft. You know, if y'all want some color added to it, some more color, it's basically going to be customized specifically for the winner. So, yeah, it's an option. We only got a handful of people over on Patreon, so your odds of winning over there is going to be 100 times greater than winning over here. But anyway, we're about to get into this. Y'all, this is Second Chance Nightmare. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Damn, he going deep, bro. Talk about them emotions, them deep emotions. I'm sorry if y'all hear that lawnmower outside. I don't even know why it's... Why am I hearing that? It's freaking raining. Anyway... But man, that's he's talking about that deep emotion for real. Wait, hold on, he said something, but this lawnmower got me effed up. I gotta go back and hear it again. Dang, he said, When I try to pray, I can't pray. When I try to cry, I can't cry. Woo, man, Lord knows I've been there before, man. Where. I remember not even believing in the Lord at one point because, which is obviously a sign that I couldn't pray if, if I wanted to. And my emotions had to build up so much for me to cry. Because as a man, we're told not to feel, not to cry, just to hold it in, don't be a punk. But when it gets to that point where you just got to let it go, whoo, it took a lot to let it go. But boy, did I. When I cry, but I can't cry, cause I feel bad. When I run, but I can't run, cause my knees ain't. Remember nothing coming, give me, cause I wanna escape. The enemy mm. telling me to just take me out. Then I better off, then he wanna fake me out. Too weak to fight since weigh me down. Never walk around, sounding like a great me out. Father, I'm truly vexed and aggravated and frustrated and humiliated to the point that I just can't take it no more. Yeah. Fight, I'm truly blessed and I need confirmation. I'm hating this situation to the point that I just can't take it no more. I'm like, I'm for the Damn, I know that's right, bro. I know that's right. I felt like something sink down, like it was just like, like my Adam's apple dropped into my stomach when he said that, bro. Like, uh, when it gets to the point where it's just like this stuff is just so unbearable to the point where you just can't take it no more. You, you just, can't, you just can't take it no more. I, I gotta hold on, yeah. I gotta pause for a minute before I play this. Again, uh, I, I forgot. I forgot what those moments were like until now. Oh, man. Damn, this is one thing I hate about reacting to this type of stuff, man. Is it is it causes me to relive and remember these moments that, you know, I try to wash away and, you know, that I try to leave behind me. Damn. But, yeah. Couldn't be more true. Couldn't be more true. But yeah. 
explode Sin trying to pull me back into X mode And again I'm tempted with triple X shows Conscious as heck no But the flesh is like let's go But the God I'm crying and dying I need you to rescue me Cause I'm at a place in my life Where I might own nightmare I might own nightmare Said I'm at a Oh, uh, here come my damn roommate flying. I wish he would slow down. He gonna hit a kid one day. But yeah, he said, I'm in a place of my life. Um, he said, I'm in a place in my life where I'm my own nightmare. God. Y'all, I'm, I'm looking at the time right now on my other channel right now. It just posted a video where I talked about the fear of fear, how we can like, scare ourselves into thinking the worst of any situation that hasn't even occurred that may not occur and it, it sent us into a state of panic and and anxiety and man, i remember i was so bad at being my own worst nightmare that i did start to develop those panic and anxiety attacks Slanging the dragons by Todd Frill Got me to think that my salvation statement was not real And that I was not healed Now I'm aggravated and tripping like God What have I been doing the last five years? Oh my God Thank you Second chance, thank you I have never heard anybody say that In a song or just oh my God. I never heard anybody say that and you know he talked about that point where he thought he was saved he thought he was rescued he thought he had overcame those struggles those boundaries in his life and only to realize that that wasn't the case and to question he's like yo god where have i been the past five years if i haven't been getting better i remember that most certainly happened for me and it, it made it hard to feel like the, the the fight to keep going on it made it hard to feel like it was worth it because i had went three years and i was working on myself hardcore heavy every single day for three years and it didn't really feel like it was doing much for me but the fight i didn't give up the fight i kept going and i'm so glad that i did i wouldn't be who i am today if i would have just you know fallen victim to everything that was happening in my life and yeah, man thank you second chance i've never heard anybody say that that was big what have I been doing the last five years? Because I quit drinking, quit smoking and selling green. Quit chasing women and I hate the singing that I used to be. In Bible college, got a lot of knowledge about the king. And a lot I put my trust in you, I but what was that a dream? If I've been just going through the motion this whole time. Yeah. Seeing folks saved for the ministry, but my soul's dying. If that's the case, the Lord, I deserve to be clotheslined. But all of them times of show crying and pro line. But Lord, I don't want to continue. I wanna repent, I want you to come in. I hate this dude who I'm in. You said if I confess it, I could be cleansed. But Lord, I'm sorry and I wanna be cleansed. I want you to come in. Man, I think that's a big part of it, man. He said, yeah, if you confess, you you'll be cleansed and and y'all, it's like I do my confessions all the time right here on this channel. And, you know, I talk about that stuff and I talk about my own personal experiences to the point where sometimes I'll be thinking I shouldn't. And especially on that other channel, I let it all loose. Um, it's called A Different Perspective, by the way. It's linked down in the description box below. Um, I'm about to go check on it right now because, like I said, the video just uploaded. But, oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely sets you free when you can actually talk about it. I'm at a place in my life it helps where set you free. I'm mighty on nightmare. I'm mighty on nightmare. I'm mighty on nightmare. I'm at a place in my life where I'm mighty on nightmare. I'm mighty on nightmare. I'm my worst nightmare. Yo. Sometimes you can't blame Satan for everything. Yeah. Sometimes it's just us. I agree. And that flesh. He said it. Sometimes we can't blame Satan for everything. Sometimes it's just us. Um, yeah. I mean, when you really think about it, you almost have to blame yourself for everything. Um, because once you become aware of what's wrong in your life rather you can put the blame on somebody else or not it's gonna take you 
to correct it. Nobody else going to make it happen. It's going to take you to make it better. So, yeah, he, he definitely said that, man. You know, look in the mirror. Blame yourself at this point because now you know. Time to kill him. To be continued. From Hard Entertainment. Dang, that was good. That was beautifully done too, man. They really put some work into making this video the way it was. Very well done, man. It wasn't the best production, but there was so much effort put into it that I have respect for it entirely. It was, it was cool. It was dope. Falling off the building to land on the ground and the ground's broken up like y'all did that. <laughs> for real. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. If y'all like my reaction to Second Chance Nightmare, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy right here on the Grand Man Twitter and Patreon if you want to be able to send me links like this for me to react to. To the next one.